everybody welcome back to the channel you're here feel free to like and subscribe today i'm here for the opening day of the food and wine festival as you see here i got myself my little card where i could get eight beautiful treats throughout the park and if you also get this little book passport it actually tells you where to go find the stuff so stay tuned and watch this epic video right here at pepper's caliente you can get the chile relleno empanada camarones al diablo and a camarito style paloma and last but not least you can also add a great glow i'm like these Brows today do not look that bad in my opinion, but who am I to judge, right? <laughs> so here's the garlic kiss. You're able to try this cabrona garlic mac and cheese. My favorite, the grilled top sirloin, and a raspberry lemon soil cake. And if you like guayaba, there is also a drink. So this right here is the grilled top sirloin with mashed potatoes, with bell peppers, and a green sauce. Don't know the name, but it's very delicious. It is one of my favorite ones from last year. I'm so glad they brought it back. Let me go ahead and try it. So this right here is the carbonara and grilled mac and cheese. It's very delicious. Like I said, uh, I'll definitely get a review of it. I'll let my buddy Mark go ahead and try it out. So this is the top serving steak. Woo. I call it steak, but it's definitely delicious. Let me go ahead and try it out. Still have that beautiful taste. Like I said, this green sauce, I don't know what it is, but it's delicious. <laughs> And like I said, it has a uh, potato in it. Very exquisite. I'll give it a five out of five. So I'm here with my buddy Jeff. Uh, he ended up trying out the carbonara mac and cheese. That's what I call it. But <laughs> uh, what you think about it, brother? Uh, good, good sauce to it. Bacon bits. Uh, we actually got a fresh, fresh batch, so I would recommend this. So I, I'll get it. All right, I'm gonna truly believe it. I'm gonna get it next round. Finally, so I finally got my top grilled top sirloin over here. I, I just love the taste of this. As you can see, look at the shredded beef with the little tots. Man, it's so delicious. I'm not gonna lie to you, I get this at a five out of five. Mm, I highly recommend it. You could go get this at Delish. All right, my buddy Jeff got this a cool looking drink. Uh, he'll let you guys know what it is. So I got this apricot tequila colada from uh, Delish. And it has tequila, basically apricot, coconut cream, orange and lime juice. So first time getting this and actually has a pretty good taste to it. Not too sweet. And it just has the right amount of tequila in it. I would recommend this, maybe like a four out of five. Yeah, see I'm not a heavy drinker, but hey, I think it's delicious. Let me zoom it all the way. Well, I was fortunate to go to LA style and Guy, look at this passport, not gonna lie, it gives you a lot of information. Like the name of this ain't just glazed barbecue pork belly, it also has some. Um... Yeah, I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> just gonna show you the food, let's check it out. <laughs> hey, I call this a wine barbecue, look at it, it's delicious. Let me give it a nice little munch of it. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes like Mama's homemade macaroni. Look at the pork belly right here, let me see. Oh, shit. Delicious. I'll tell you why it's delicious because somebody said <laughs> they want to know. I'll tell you why it's delicious. Just because I say so is delicious. All right, period. Let's move on. Jersey. The 
mini on it, cooking. They also do have these little cups. Oh, these are cool. They also have this nice cool looking shirt with berries on it. I really enjoy it. I said they have like these nice super cups over here with Mickey on it. The dude of the food. They also have more over here, but the best one I see so far is this awesome exclusive Magic Key Holder shirt for the Food and Fine Whistle. Having my favorite character himself, Stitch, having a great time. The pretty cool thing about this event, they always have like a little live band here later on at night. They do have their own showings at times, but it's pretty cool right here in front of the beautiful carousel. And you can see it incredibly closer from the far end. Okay. So I ended up getting alcohol beverage after all. My buddy here got the meal and I got the raspberry limoncello. This is delicious, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. It tastes very raspberry, but then you get the feel of the alcohol. Not sure my buddy likes it, but so far he told me this is a pretty good beverage. All right, my buddy here got this mule. What you think about it, man? It is what it's called, it's bitter. <laughs> it has like that, I think, grapefruit, grapefruit taste to it. I forgot what's in it, what kind of uh, alcohol, but I kind of don't recommend this if you don't like bitter taste. Otherwise, it's probably like a three out of five. All right, so I'm over here at Hollywood Lounge, I'm gonna try out this nice little drink, recommend for one, one of my friends. It's the margarita cucumber. Uh, it's very delicious because I say it's nutritious. I highly recommend it. I give it four out of four signatures. Now that right there is where the future show will be for Captain America. And it looks so beautiful at nighttime here at Disneyland California. The cool thing about the Food and Wine Festival, they actually changed Soren from around the world to over California. So it's a pretty cool thing they do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on it. It's been a while, so let me go see what it is. That does it here for me at Disneyland California Adventure for the Food and Wine Festival. Today's epic first day was phenomenal. I had so much delicious food, met so many friends. Can't wait to come back and enjoy this awesome theme park. Till next time, like and subscribe.